Hi, welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Stephen. My name is Stephen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So it's a beautiful day out as you can see, and I thought I'd go down to the cliffs by my house and enjoy nature for a bit. And uh, I want to show you this. It's absolutely beautiful today. Absolutely gorgeous day. I'm going to turn around here. You can kind of see. Let me get closer. Hold up. Absolutely gorgeous day. Great day for a walk. Get right on over here so you can see this. And there it is, close by my house. Absolutely beautiful. And so yeah, while I'm out here today, I wanna to talk a bit about hope and when I lost my hope. Now, early on in my illness, I didn't really know what was going on, you know? I was becoming uh, psychotic, having headaches, all that stuff. So I didn't have any hope and I didn't have any aspirations for life. Nothing like that. But of course, after I awakened from my schizophrenia, and psychosis rather, from my schizophrenia, that's when I had no hope. You know, my life felt horrible to me. I had pretty much nothing going on in my life. And I felt I had nothing to live for. I was suicidal at the time. Um, not, not good times. And so of course I had no hope. And I thought hope, if I had hope rather, it would just lead to disappointment. Because if I had hope, say that in however many years or whatever, I'd be cured of my schizophrenia if those years went by and I still had schizophrenia, I'd feel even worse. And I had no hope for you know, me getting a job or anything. Well, granted, I don't have a job in the traditional sense, but I had no idea back then that I'd be doing YouTube. And so hope was a very tricky thing for me. And I had no hope for the longest time, but I'm happy to say I have hope again. And I have hope that my life will get better because it has, you know, for the longest time it was, I felt like it was just getting worse. Um, you know, I wasn't really going to school or going to normal school when I was. I didn't have friends, but uh, granted in time, I did get friends. I don't have those anymore. But my life is still getting better. And I do have hope that life will get even better for me. Because, you know, it has. Uh, it took a long time for me to recover to the point where I have today. And it's good to have hope, I think. As long as it's not unreason unreasonable, you know. You don't want to have hope where it's going to take control of your life. I'm not saying this well. Hope is tricky and it's important to have hope, but not too much. If you have too much hope, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. And I knew that for a long time, but now I know if you do have at least a little hope, you're actually gonna get further. If you don't have any hope, you're not gonna go anywhere with your life. You know, I wasn't. I I was just staying where I was and just getting worse even actually. But now that I do have hope again, it's kind of opening the doorway, you know? It's opening the door to possibilities that I didn't think were there before. It's allowing me to move forward with my life instead of staying stuck in the mud, so to speak. And I think that's great. And I'm so happy to have hope again. I, man, it feels nice. It really does. And it, just, it makes me happier, you know? When you have no hope and you feel like you have nothing to live for, you're definitely not happy. And those are the times when I was most depressed. Now I still have depression, but now that I have some hope and this YouTube channel, you know, I'm, I'm doing so much better. So much better. And yeah, I just, hope is important. And I had no hope for so long. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but it's hitting me more now, you know, that how important hope is. And then I'm so glad I have it again. And for anyone out there that's going through, maybe they have schizophrenia or some really rough times, 
and you might feel there is nothing that's going to happen in the future that will change, that your life will always stay how it is now. I thought that too, but things changed and I regained my hope. And you know what? I'm feeling pretty much better than I have now than I ever have before since the onset of my schizophrenia. And that's just so great. I am so very happy right now uh, that I feel I'm coming back to life, you know? I'm coming back to more where I was before, but in a different way, you know? I don't have a life I had before. I don't expect that life to ever come back. And I don't really want it to. You know, I've changed a lot. And I think for the better in a lot of ways. I'm definitely more mature. Not that I was immature before, but, you know, things have changed in my life. And I'm happy that they're the way they are now. And I do have hope for the future, that things will only get better. So, I think that's all I gotta say for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, hope, hope is good. Hope is good. So, I just wanna show you the ocean one more time. It's a beautiful day. And I just wanna wish you a happy and healthy rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next video.